uprooted from their home because of toxic mold. It's a more common problem than you may realize. Texas has the highest mold counts in the country. Houston, the most homes with mold. You may be shocked that it's a four legged friend helping sniff out serious problems. Bittersweet smiles from this family of six in Cyprus. They're finally feeling better after suffering for almost a decade, but they had to move out of their home during remediation for toxic mold removal. So in here, uh, the dog is flagged. Ashley was the first to experience odd symptoms. I started having like severe rashes on my face, on my neck. Um, our daughter started having like bouts of rage, um, like um, she started like having OCD tendencies. It only worsened from there to autistic like behavior to autoimmune issues, seizures, verbal tics, serious neurological symptoms and severe stomach pain. <coughs> and the list goes on and on. What was growing between the walls of their dream home is to blame. When we built the house and moved in July of 2013. It was about two years after that that we started noticing uh, symptoms. There was actually boards that were placed in the walls that were moldy. Um, as our uh, son's bedroom had the whole seal plate behind his wall actually was covered in mold. And uh, I would say every bathroom in our house had mold in the wall cavities. Uh, the remediation company said that more than likely it was due to humidity levels too high in the home, which a lot of that had to do with the HVAC being just very poorly designed. They were suspicious it was mold, but heard many mold tests falsely come back okay. So that's when they brought in the certified mold sniffing dog, Zia. She's a type of honey dog called a drathar. Good girl. The easiest way for her to get it is going to be like the biggest hole in the wall, which is where the electrical outlet is. Mm -hmm. So if you were to take the plate off of there and you just have the outlet on the wall, there's a big hole around that. So if there's any odor of mold in the wall, it's going to be strongest source is what we call it. It's what she's supposed to, she's trained to get to. So the dog's accuracy is over 90%. So any of us would go to Vegas and if I said like, hey, this machine pays out 90% of the time, like give me my give me my wallet and I'm gonna put money in there. So the dog's reliability is far superior than anything else. Show me, show me. Lane Simmons is Zia's handler, working together to fight the crime of mold. Not typical mildew, but toxic mold that can shred your health. Good girl. Experts say the prevalence of mold in Houston is outrageous. One of the main number you'll hear is like 80%, 80 percent, 80 plus percent. I personally think it's higher than that. Um, I think it's 90 percent plus. Zia's owner and founder of the company Mold Dog Nose is proud of this duo. It all started with a lot of dog training. A thousand hours of training. Um, our dog was certified at the Florida Canine Academy and then we actually ended up, which was a blessing, uh, and a surprise hiring a former law enforcement canine handler for narcotics. So he knows what he's doing and he has really honed her skill and brought her to the level of where she is now. And we also took it a step further, getting him um, uh, certified um, as a uh, mold technician in the state of Texas, which is required. Mm -hmm. So we have a really powerful team. Susan battled mold toxicity herself for years, which is why she's helping others now. Doctors visits and moving out of the house for a while is hard on the entire family. It's affected me in many ways. I've had many problems from it. Most of it's internal and you can't see. It has given me a lot of rashes and I can't see my friends as much. Does it make you feel yucky? Yeah, how are you feeling now that you're out of the house? Good. Feel better? Good. When there's serious mold illness, experts say most belongings have to be either tossed out or thoroughly cleaned with a specific protocol. Mold spores build up on them and can continue to harm sufferers. In addition to you know losing all your material possessions, dealing with uh, the, the mental aspect of it and the stress with the kids and disrupting their lives. Uh, then, you know, the extreme financial burden, you know, draining uh, financial savings. It's tough, but they're anxious for the day they're fully healed and can put toxic mold behind them. Join us today online at 1230 for Lunch for the Soul. We'll share so much advice about what to do if you suspect mold. And then we'll share tips online to help keep it out of your home in the first place. Join us at Fox26Houston.com or our Fox26 Facebook for this valuable info. Wow. And awesome they had.
a dog as Can well. you believe yeah. that the dog does that? So the dog actually lives in Dallas, but there are so many clients in Houston. They come to Houston almost oh. more than they see homes in Dallas because wow. of all of our, our you know, major flooding and yeah. hurricanes the and moisture. flooded out houses. Yeah. It's a very real problem here. Thank you for dogs. Yeah. We say that and it, can, it can actually be deadly, so it's important.